Now, as you may have heard approximately seven seconds ago, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, has passed away at the age of 99. As in, Queen Elizabeth is now single, baby! Woo! <laughs> Look, we know this may be in poor taste, but we're film majors, okay? We're not gonna be employed. You may not realize it, but we're peaking right now. That's why we have a backup plan for our futures. And so we are shooting our shots on live television. Queen Elizabeth, I may not have much to offer, but I know my table manners. I'm a youthful spirit, and I can maybe make you laugh with, you know, a mediocre joke. Pick me, please, pick me, pick me. No, <laughs> pick me, Queen L. I don't know my table manners, and you may have scrolled through my Twitter to find out that it's just me being anti-British. What the hell is beans on toast? Get that in it nonsense out of my face. <laughs> Keep going, Bridget. You're making a great case for her to pick me. No, 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 no. We could be besties. Go shopping for fancy hats together. Think of the headlines. Florida woman marries Her Majesty the Queen in the political alliance of the century. In fact, Florida can become a territory of the United Kingdom. We're in high demand. But we're not stopping there. Oh, no. We have gathered a list of all the unmarried royalty from around the globe, and we're going to be throwing out pickup lines. There's got to be at least one success, right? Yeah. All right. Crown Prince Hussein bin Abdullah of Jordan. More like Jordam. Prince Albert of Thurn in Taxis of Germany. I bet you could show me a good bratwurst, if you know what I mean. Prince Hakim of Belgium. I would make you a Belgian waffle, and I wouldn't treat you awful. <laughs> Prince Sebastian of Luxembourg. Your country's probably fake, but our connection is real. <laughs> oh, God. Prince Constantine Alexios of Greece. The grape leaves aren't the only thing in Greece that should be stuffed. Nope. Oh, I hated that one. Wait, Thomas, we don't have to stop at royalty. What about generational wealth, the 1%? Bridget, you were literally just telling me before the show that they should be guillotined. I don't that's... recall that. <laughs> Jeff Bezos, I absolutely don't want to liquidate and redistribute your assets or guillotine you. I've, in fact, I think you're Amazon. Amazon pun? I don't know. Yeah, yeah these ones are trickier. How about, oh, uh, Mark Cuban, you're one handsome man. And for that reason, I'm in. <laughs> I like that one. Elon Musk, I love you to the moon and back. Get it? Because you're trying to drive a Tesla to the moon. Isn't he with, isn't he with Grimes? Film majors, Thomas. Right, right, right. You know what? I second that. Elon and Grimes, if you need a third, you know where to look. Since we're going into home wrecking territory, Warren Buffett, I'll pretend to in be interested when you tell me about the NASDAQ. Uh, let's see, wealthy celebrity. Steven, Steven Spielberg, yeah. Uh, hey, you hottie. Uh, make like E.T. and uh, call my home phone. J Jerry Seinfeld, I'm not 17. No, nope. all right, well, that was our pathetic attempt at financially securing our futures. Uh, here's to hoping that the right person stumbles across it. <laughs>